We are learning hydrogen bond. Right, moving ahead. Suppose I have acetylene C2 H2 20 ml and I have 20 ml of acetone now what I did is I mix them up in a container question is the mixture will have what volume what will be the volume of the mixture your options are equal to 40 ml B greater than 40 ml C less than 40 ml and D I have no bloody idea pick one among these four you understand the question right you have 20 20 if you mix them up what will be it 40 less than 40 more than 40 I have no idea uh, now think about it think about it in the context we are discussing think about the topic we are discussing and try to apply that if you have, if you solve this one you are a pretty fast learner and your application is pretty much good so your chances are pretty well in competitive exams so what it would be 40 good than 40 less than 40 what it would be now to answer this we obviously the line of thinking would be what you have to think is you have to look the force that is operating in this liquid the force that is operating in this liquid and the force that would be operating in the mixture after mixing these two if the final force is greater than the previous forces then the volume will be decreased the the liquid would be compressed because of more attractive force if the final force is the repulsive one then the volume will increase pushing away from each far away from each other the molecules of the mixture now which case it would be here do we have hydrogen bond do we have hydrogen bond in acety acetylene hydrogen is uh, hydrogen bond is there when you have hydrogen attached to fluorine oxygen or nitrogen you find any one of them here there's no fluorine there's no oxygen there's no nitrogen the primer phase see there would be no hydrogen bonding but some of you might be clever enough to say that this carbon is more electronegative than nitrogen as I have told you before and I am saying it again the sp hybridized carbon as you can identify this is sp hybridized carbon sp hybridized carbon is more electronegative than sp3 hybridized nitrogen if there's a hydrogen bonding in nitrogen that means if nitrogen snatches sufficient hydro electron from hydrogen making hydrogen electron deficient then this sp hybridized carbon would do even greater amount of damage that means the plus charge on this hydrogen will be more than what is there on uh, hydrogen in ammonia right because this nitrogen is this nitrogen is less electronegative than this carbon carbon is less electronegative than nitrogen but sp3 carbon is less electronegative than nitrogen sp hybridized carbon becomes more electronegative than nitrogen because as percentage s character increases hybridization of uh, electronegativity increases this I have explained you in long length when I've taught you inductive effect I'll not delve into it right now but I'll use the result that this carbon is the more electronegative that makes this hydrogen more electron deficient so now answer will there be hydrogen bond will there be hydrogen bond will there be hydrogen bond seems like it will be there would be hydrogen bond because this hydrogen is electron deficient now it will cry out for electron now who is going to hear the cry and who is going to help come for help the one which have the electron when the one which is rich in electron the one which is more electron deficient uh, sorry electron rich and for being electron rich you need to have electron in ammonia what happens nitrogen pulls away the electron making hydrogen electron deficient hydrogen cries for electron and for rescue another nitrogen atoms comes it can come because it has a lone pair which it can give to hydrogen 
here in case of acetylene if hydrogen cries for electron who's going to help no one because the carbon don't have lone pair carbons don't have lone pair they have four electrons all four are involved in forming covalent bond so carbon don't have a lone pair they can't come another acetylene atom can't come for help because this is not possible because carbon don't have a lone pair there's no lone pair on carbon right so for that reason even though there's a electron deficiency on hydrogen but there will be no hydrogen bonding all right all right let's see what about acetone will there be hydrogen bonding in acetone no because the hydrogen is, are attached to carbon and this carbon is not sp hybridized carbon this carbon is sp3 hybridized carbon problem in seeing hybridization get back to hybridization lecture and listen them but here i'll say directly this carbon is sp3 hybridized and this must be way as natural as to you as it is to me this carbon is sp3 hybridized for that virtue this carbon is very little electronegative very close to hydrogen the hydrogens don't have electron deficiency though they won't cry out for electron then but the oxygen is electron rich the other oxygen of a different molecule of acetone can come in it's ready to give electron but there's no requirement by hydrogen because there is no electron deficiency on hydrogen so not much of electronic density can come in so no bond will be formed so that is it goes back to the two points we have written in the beginning of the lecture that there should be deficiency and the atoms must be able to give the electron and for giving the electron the first thing is they must have lone pair and apart from having lone pair they must be small enough to give it so here there is a electron rich site but the elect hydrogen is not electron deficient because it is bonded to carbon so uh, to conclude this we can say that hydrogen bonding will be there when you have hydrogen attached with oxygen fluorine oxygen or nitrogen plus there must also be a donor atom that again must be fluorine nitrogen or oxygen no hydrogen bonding no hydrogen bonding when you mix it up will there be a hydrogen bonding there's electron deficiency ideas there's electron rich ideas there's a possibility of hydrogen bonding so the hydrogen of acet acetylene will again cry for help and this time there can be a rescuer the hero oxygen of acetone coming in and bringing in some electron that will form some bond between this and this will result in hydrogen bonding so although there is no hydrogen bond in acetylene and acetone separately when when you mix them up then there is a deficient site there is a donor site and then clap together they can form a hydrogen bond and the, because of this hydrogen bond the molecules will come closer decreasing the volume of the mixture so effectively the volume of mixture would be less than what you expect that is 40 ml that would be the answer so hopefully this brings us to the end of this lecture making our concepts sufficiently sufficiently sufficient for us to move ahead and deal with this topic whenever it comes across in rest of the course all right so this is not close actually so this will be coming over and over again and will be will be using this this concept in various reaction mechanisms so i thought it would be handy for us later on if we deal with it before starting reaction mechanism